Hey guys and welcome back. How's it going out there? All right. Well, today we're going to be talking about Bitcoin as I walk and talk through Mexico. Now, I know usually I end up just talking about, you know, motivational stuff or talking about Mexico stuff or what have you. But today we're going to start talking about, you know, a lot of the stuff that I talk at home um, with Lambo and all that good stuff. We're going to start talking about other things. Other very important things that we all need to be talking about because everything is correlated. Everything pretty much on my channel, even though it encompasses, you know, just me. This is my channel. It's a my it's me. You know, it's uh it's all about my life. You know, you guys are watching me and listening to me and my voice and the birdies and all that good shit, but it's like, you know, I don't know, most of you guys, I think, turn in, tune in to watch the whole package. And I know some of you guys just tune in for certain things. But since I have everyone's attention, um, I want to talk about things that I, I feel are very important. And I think a lot of you guys also think are very important. So that's why I'm going to be talking about Bitcoin today. Because I don't know if you guys were aware, but uh, literally last week, last week and uh the, the days prior and um you know this weekend and even yesterday monday yesterday um there's been a lot of things going on like a lot of uh major things going on and um they're very important there's a lot of fucking birds out this morning it's really early in the morning by the way decided to come out and uh take care of this before it got too hot so I apologize for the extra noise and uh, I, I keep forgetting that windsock man but anyways I'm actually inspired to doing these videos again you know just um, not just walking and talking but talking about other subjects that are again I feel important because uh, I was watching Jeff Berwick and he seems to be uploading again and you know he lives in Mexico and he walks around you know talking to me, you know talking about all of these things while rocking around Mexico you know, I talk about, again, um, you know, all the political things and all the financial things and all that good stuff. So, all right. I think that was enough of an intro. Let's uh, get rolling with um, the whole thing about Bitcoin. Now, as I was saying, if you guys uh, have been paying attention, literally since uh, the beginning of April, the price, and so from the beginning of April till right now, the price of Bitcoin has literally doubled just about. I think right now as we speak every time it's funny because every time that I look at the price it just literally keeps going up so you know uh, it, it, I mean I honestly I thought we were gonna be like a 6800 right now I look at the price right before I started filming and we're like a 74 plus it's like 7400 plus I'm like damn that's a high price and so like the major you know the main big the main question that everyone wants to know I mean that everyone's asking and then most people want to know is am I gonna go or what? Hold on, hold on a second. I'm trying to get killed here. Um, you know, the main question everybody really wants to know is um, the price of Bitcoin. Um, why is it? Well, first of all, why did it get to 20k? Why did it crash down to 3,000 or whatever? Why are we now at 7,400? Like what it seems like almost overnight. Which it hasn't been overnight. It took a little while to get back up here. But, you know, what's causing all this? In fact, what's causing the price of Bitcoin to, to go up right now? And now, you know, there's a lot of reasons. There's a lot of fucking speculation. There's a lot of everything. But honestly, you know what I really think it is? I think it was this. I'll point out, though, that as we deal with illicit finance focusing on our banking system and our currency... Cryptocurrency is moving in to fill the role. And so we can have all the suspicious activity reports, limitations on the maximum dollar size of any one unit of currency that we want. The Hamas website provides detailed instructions on how you can send that terrorist organization uh, uh, cryptocurrency. If you look at the advertising for the boosterism of cryptocurrency, it reads like a something between libertarianism and anarchism. The uh, don't let anybody 
know what you're doing, especially the government. Uh, here's how it's secure and secret. Here's how it can meet your needs if you're a tax evader, a drug dealer, or a terrorist. Um, and I would regard cryptocurrencies as the plastic gun of, cur of, uh, of, of currency. That is to say, it can be used for a legitimate purpose. You can shoot a deer with a plastic gun. But the fact is that the advantage it has over traditional mechanisms is singularly a benefit for those who wish to, correct, uh, uh, those who wish to commit crime. And uh, I look for colleagues to join with me in introducing a bill to uh, outlaw cryptocurrency uh, uh, owner, uh, purchases by Americans so that we nip this in the bud, in part because not, uh, an awful lot of our international power comes from the fact that the dollar is the standard unit of international uh, finance and transactions. Clearing through the New York Fed is critical for major oil, oil and other transactions. And it is the announced purpose of the supporters of cryptocurrency to take that power away from us, to put us in a position where the most significant sanctions we have on Iran, for example, would become uh, irrelevant. So whether it is to disempower our foreign policy, our tax collection uh, enforcement, or our law, traditional law enforcement, the purposes of cryptocurrency, the advantage it has over uh, uh, sovereign currency is solely uh, to aid in the disempowerment of, uh, of uh, the United States and the rule of law. So I'm sure right there, um, I put a clip on Mr. Sherman, Mr. You know, the guy that works for the U.S. government. And uh, he literally put it out there. I mean, he literally, you know, spelled it out for everyone out there that still has no idea what the fuck Bitcoin or cryptocurrency is. If you don't get it after listening to him say what he just said right there, I don't know what to tell you. Um, I remember back when I was in the States, my goodness, man. I used to go crazy trying to explain this shit to people. And people could not get it. People didn't get it. And in fact, I used to remember, you know, a lot of my friends would always be telling me, you know, what the fuck is uh, this Bitcoin shit? You know, how... You know, is this gonna, let me see if I can run across, all right? You know, how is this, you know, what is it? You know, what, not only what, what is it, but what is it, what is it good for? You know, like, you know, like war, war. What is it good for? Anyways, but seriously, Bitcoin, what is it, what is it for? Why do we need it? You know, why should I even give a fuck about it and all this stuff? And then, you know, I will remember always going through my whole spiel, trying to explain everything to everybody and nobody got it nobody ever fucking got it the only thing they were able to get is always like oh you can make money off of it it's an investment yada 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 man i hope it's not too fucking windy man but so you know that's pretty much you know what everyone literally always got back in the states and nobody ever really got it when I, would, uh, when I would talk to certain immigrants back in the States, I remember that they would get it a little more. They still weren't that interested, but they, they kind of got it. As soon as I moved to fucking Mexico, though, again, you know, I got plenty of videos documenting this. Um, as soon as I got out here and I started talking to, to people about this stuff, everybody got it. Everybody got it. In fact, everybody, and it's, and I'm just trying to think of anyone that hasn't gotten it yet. And I can't really think of anybody because if they don't get it right off the bat, it just takes a few more minutes and it's easily explained and understood. And so why is that? I mean, because I was doing it again this weekend. I mean, literally this weekend, I was talking to my girl. We we're talking to some friends, talking about, you know, Bitcoin. We we're talking about other things, we're talking about the economy, you know, other countries and all this other shit. And, um... You know, they got it. They, they literally got it. They had no fucking idea what the fuck this shit is. And they got it. I mean, it only took about a few... I don't know, about an hour. Just about an hour. You know, I'll be generous, right? I know I talk a lot. So about an hour into, you know, the whole explanation, they got it. I mean, not only did they get Bitcoin, but they got the whole blockchain technology. They got everything. They, they really, truly, 100% understood it. 
And that was like the, you know, the most insane weird thing. You know, the fact that, that they were able to get it so quickly. And it's not really that weird because if you know anything about any other country outside of the US, you'll realize that literally every country has had a lot of uh, economic turmoil at one point or another. And it's all had to do with the, the US dollar and the dollar dominance and how, you know, the dollar, you know, functions as, uh, you know, as um, the, the world reserve currency and all that stuff. So the only one that ever, the only ones that ever benefit from this stuff is the US and the US economy. But again, as you just saw from that clip that I played um, from Mr. Sherman, you know, talking about, literally talking about um, how this stuff is gonna put an end to the dollar dominance. Awful lot of our international power comes from the fact that the dollar is the standard unit of international uh, finance and transactions. Clearing through the New York Fed is critical for major oil, oil and other transactions. And it is the announced purpose of the supporters of cryptocurrency to take that power away from us, to put us in a position where the most significant sanctions we have on Iran, for example, would become uh, irrelevant. So whether it is to disempower our foreign policy, our tax collection uh, enforcement, or our law, traditional law enforcement, the purposes of cryptocurrency, the advantage it has over uh, uh, sovereign currency is solely uh, to aid in the disempowerment of, uh, of uh, the United States and the rule of law. Put an end to, to the U.S. being able to bully everybody around. Again, you know, as other countries around the world, as other people around the world are listening to this, and it's literally coming out of uh, the America's mouth, you know, saying that, hey, the reason Bitcoin and crypto suck is because it's gonna make the US fucking useless and pointless and the dollar pointless and useless. And so, you know, that, that says a lot. That literally says all you need to know. Um, and right now, you know, most people have no idea how this debt economy works. All right, hold on a second. I gotta clean my glasses. But most people, they have no idea how even this this whole debt economy even works how any of this shit even works which is pretty crazy and um you know what we're, let's just talk about the u.s and china right now let's just talk about the u.s and china trump said last week oh we're gonna impose a 25 percent tariff on fucking uh on china but if you know anything about how any of that shit works you already know that um, the, the whole tariff thing is not, it's not going to be paid by China. That's, that's fucking retarded. It's beyond retarded. It's beyond ridiculous. Who's going to end up paying for it? The U.S. taxpayer, the U.S. person, the everyone. And again, it's not the U.S. taxpayers, literally everyone else around the world as well. Anyone that participates within this, uh, this charade, this game, this thing that we, we call, um, you know, fiat currency and all this shit. So... Literally, Mr. Kudlow came out and he said this weekend that the whole that the whole tariff situation that the U.S. public is going to end up paying for that. That we're, that we're the ones that are going to end up paying for it, and um, that shit went viral. The president says China doesn't. That China it pays the tariffs. They may suffer consequences, but it's U.S. businesses and U.S. consumers who pay. Correct? Uh, yes, to some extent. I, mean, yeah, I don't disagree with that. Again, both sides, both sides will suffer on this. Why did it go viral? Huh? Well, I'm going to tell you why it went viral. You know, because it was a truth. It was a fucking straight up truth. And um, I've talked about it many times on this channel right here as well. As to where, you know, the whole thing with China. China is literally, you know, the fact that it's just, um, you know, Mr. Trump and all that bullshit is using this stuff as a, as a, as a tool to keep manipulating the system. Can we keep, keep manipulating the people from, uh, from truly understanding this bullshit because look, man, I, I mean, again, 
Let, let's just uh, let's just you know go through this one one last time here. Even though it's not gonna be the last time, we're gonna be going through this a lot. But you know, the the U.S. only exports debt. The only thing that the U.S. has really is debt. And uh, and I'm I'm truly I'm really trying to fucking put it in layman terms here. The the largest holder of debt is China. Now, what does that even mean? What does that even mean? Well, the you the, the well what it means is that China has a bunch of United States of America fund coupons. And these uh, these fund coupons are you know worth a certain amount of money. Each fund coupon is a little different. But literally, you know what these fund coupons represent is just debt. You know, meaning that um, that China, you know, China went out and uh, and let the United States of America borrow money, and um, these fund coupons are just um, debt. You know, meaning that at some point, you know, the, the China can go to the United States and and uh, give them back these fund coupons, and they got to give them back cash. It's as simple as that. Hey, hey. it's as simple as that. It's not really, it's not really. You know, it's IOUs. Literally, what China holds is a bunch of uh, United States of America IOUs and um, well what's gonna happen is that if the United States of America starts getting stupid and cute well what's China gonna do China's gonna start saying hey we want our money back and they start giving them these fun coupons and the United States has to fucking pay back the IOUs and that's it and if they don't well the dollar will fall it's as simple as that the minute, the fucking minute that the United States does not pay up on the on the IOU or the fund coupons, and that's it. The dollar literally falls overnight. You know, um, kind of like how Enron did. Kind of like a bunch of other you know situations like that already happened. It, it, it's not gonna be overnight, but it's gonna take a few weeks. It's gonna take a little while. Now, is that gonna happen? Probably not. Probably not. It's not gonna benefit anybody right now. The only one's gonna benefit is China, and um, the United States has to be extremely idiotic in order to to do something like that but they're doing it but you know like there's other people out there they're saying like why is this going on well it's going on because you know maybe they just want the markets to bleed off a little bit because we already know the whole thing is fake listen i feel like i'm already talking more you know more information that most people can even grasp out here right now but the point i'm trying to make is What's, what's really what's really making the price of Bitcoin go up? Sim simply stated, the uncertainty that's happening all around the world right now. That's it. It's a lot of uncertainty happening all over the world. It's not just here in the U.S. Um, it's everywhere, literally. And um, look, even here where I'm living right now in Mexico, um, I talk to the the average person out here, just like you can talk to like the average literally in any corner of the world and everyone is going through the same situation the people here are going through the same situation as in the US as in Canada as everywhere else thing is that people just make less money out here um, things are just different out here when it comes to you know the economy and people are not gonna be suffering as much here as they might be you know in other places like I don't know Skid Row or um, you know India or what have you, you know there's a lot of places where where things are a lot worse but again even even as I say India India's not India's in the same position as here you know they're embracing Bitcoin they're everywhere you know what let's just let's get back to talking about Bitcoin and the price as to why we got to where we got look again it's all about the uncertainty that's happening around the world right now every single day we get a new news um, thingy saying like for example in India they were trying to make crypto illegal there's a lot of protests out here in Mexico they're trying to make it illegal as well um, and pretty much everywhere you go in which um, the central banks have a foothold which is everywhere they're all now simultaneously doing that you know which is trying to make that shit illegal and um, and then sure enough you know the last guy you know the last uh, individual to come on and say that was Mr. Sherman that works for the US government 
you know, straight up saying that we need to make it illegal and why we need to make it illegal. So, now, I mean, I sincerely doubt that it's going to be illegal. You know, I sincerely doubt that they're going to do anything in that, you know, in that perspective as it comes to, uh, you know, making crypto illegal or anything like that. But, you know, the point is, is that people are, you know, everyone's starting to really figure this out. Um, man, I really hope you can hear me. It's fucking windy as hell. See, now I feel bad for not getting a windsock, but the point is, is that, you know, everything is starting to unravel all over the place right now. And uh, the main tool, the main tool that we have in order to combat this is cryptocurrency. It's as simple as that. I mean, again, I, I mean, this guy, Mr. Sherman, you know, the, that again represents the U.S. government, um, literally spelled it out for us and uh, put it out there for us that um, as to why we need cryptocurrency to do, put an end to the dollar dominance, to put an end to this uh, insanity that has been taking place for too long already, way too long. And um, it's, it's a beautiful time to be alive, you know? I mean, again, you know, all the assert uncertainty that's happening all around the world, I mean, we can go on a world map and I can just literally point country after country after country going through some sort of turmoil that most people don't even have any fucking clue is happening right now you know let's just look at latin america you know let's go to you know argentina is having a worse economic situation than venezuela but you're not hearing anything about argentina um look at venezuela what's happening over there all that fake news that's coming out of there um now things that are happening in mexico never get reported um you know and all over latin america when uh when we're looking at the the use and the buying of crypto and Bitcoin, it's like literally as soon as a country makes it illegal or says they're going to make it illegal, like whether it's Venezuela or India or whatever out there, immediately you see not only a spike, but a continued um, usage of, uh, said, uh, of said cryptos. And, and it's the same thing, you know, like, um, what, again, what is making this price jump? Well, a lot of central banks from all over the place are now literally simultaneously talking about making this stuff illegal so if if all of a sudden you put it out there that it's gonna probably probably be illegal it's gonna make a lot of people want to go out and buy it because you know most people consider cryptos like gold or silver and and more people and then again you're talking about gold and silver every single day you see more and more people purchasing gold and silver so people are just looking for for whatever safe havens they can and uh, that's what crypto really is. You know, crypto, crypto's a major game changer. It's like, it's, 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 uh, it's such a game changer that most people have no idea how much of a game changer it is. Man, I just crossed the street and I realized I should have been on the other side, but whatever. Come on. Yeah, maybe I'm gonna cross back, it's too fucking hot. So, you know just to bring it all full circle guys the reason crypto the crypto the reason crypto's price is fucking uh, is skyrocketing and i can and i think that it's going to continue to skyrocket despite whatever pullback you get is because the uncertainty around the world is growing and it's growing faster and faster every single day literally and um you know there are things you can do about it like protect yourself by purchasing these things and learning about these things and educating yourselves on these things so that you're not caught with your pants down when the shit hits the fan which is about to hit the fan um again I, i've been talking about this recently where i don't i mean i don't know if trump's gonna be like the re-elected and uh what if we get a socialist um president and that whole deal i mean it could be that or it could be a lot of other things i mean he could get re-elected um, we could go to through even more war, more strife, more you know horribleness. You know, because that's usually what happens. I mean, I'm literally um, FDR right before you know FDR you know passed the the New Deal and that whole thing, and then like a little bit after that, it was World War II. So. Again, guys, you know, with all that being said, you know, the, the, the real reason, the real, real, real reason why Bitcoin is going up in price and it's going to continue to go up in price, it's literally only because of, you know, the everyone around the world losing confidence 
and uh, trying to figure something out in which not to you know lose confidence in anymore you know what i mean like something that they can they can trust um and once you learn about this stuff you'll all be buying that bitcoin shit too you'll be all you'll all be all over cryptocurrency and all over this new technology but that's the thing most people don't know anything about this stuff and that's why nobody you know nobody um like really looks into this stuff simple as that so anyways look guys i'm gonna get going because i'm already here where i need to get going this thing's dying a battery and um, I have a million things to do. It was a great talk, great conversation. I hope you guys kind of understand a little bit more as to why this stuff is important and why we need to, to study this stuff. And um, hopefully I'll be able to talk to you guys a little more about this stuff and uh, educate you guys more on, you know, for, for you guys that are OGs, you know, helping uh, continue this conversation and for all you newbies out there so you guys can get on board, finally get on board and keep spreading, you know, this revolution that needs to take place because without this crypto revolution you know we're all fucked it's as simple as that and um again you can go to a lot of points all around the world right now whether you go to france whether you go to argentina whether you go to venezuela whether you go to india whether you go all over the place crypto is helping the revolution take shape and form and 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 get power and steam under it so i mean this stuff is revolutionary and uh just don't be the last one to find out about it okay don't be Guys, have a great, great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share. And I'll see you guys, same bad time, same bad channel, manana. Peace.